What's up everybody, it's Lolo and welcome back to Sitting Pretty. And today, it's story time. Now, what I'm about to tell you is probably the craziest, most frightening experience I've ever had in my entire life. I have never, ever, 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 ever been through some shit like this before. And I don't even know like what I did to piss off the universe. I don't know if maybe me and God just wasn't in tune that day, but I almost got attacked at the bus stop. Now, let me give some backstory on this. I've been using the bus in the LA area for 10 years. It didn't even cross my mind that this could even happen to me because I've been taking it so long and had been safe this entire time. And I'm talking about going to downtown LA, going to Hollywood, going to LA, LA, like literally everywhere. Orange line, red line, blue line, regular line, rapid line. It don't matter what bus line, where I was at, I had always been safe. So I'm in an area that would, I guess, to some degree, it is slightly sketch, but I'm from Stockton. If it don't look like downtown Stockton, where the Amtrak station is, and for all my Stocktonians who know, or anybody that lives in that area, you know what the Stockton Amtrak station look like, okay? It don't look like that. So I figured I was safe. I'm going down the street, mobbing down the street. I'm on the phone with the homie. Not even thinking anything of it. I'm on the phone like I always am. And as I'm passing one bus stop to get to the orange line, um, I pass up this homeless man in a wheelchair not thinking anything of it I don't judge nobody I pass him up stop at the crosswalk wait till the light changes then crosses the street and go to the orange line platform now let me explain the orange line so the orange line in you know the LA LA County is essentially a subway above ground so it's like this huge long bus it's um, secluded with their two lanes. So one goes this way, one goes the other way. So no other cars are allowed to go through there unless you're the police. So with the orange line, there's like a platform similar to, you know, any subway station. Not as high as a subway, but it's like a little bit of a platform. You still have to be safe. So I get on the orange line platform. It's 11 o'clock in the afternoon on Super Bowl Sunday. I'm chilling. I'm on my way to get my taxes done. I'm just trying to get to H&R Block. That's all I'm trying to do. So at my peripheral, I see the same homeless man that was in a wheelchair, you know, kind of creeping. But I'm like, okay, well, maybe he's trying to get on the bus too. He's creeping, but something about the energy just wasn't right. But I ain't thinking nothing of it. I'm on the phone. I'm having a great time. So as he approaches, he stops right next to me. And what I was always learned is that when it comes to people that seem a little sketch, you just completely ignore them. And then eventually they'll go away. So I just turn around and dip towards the other end of the platform. The man starts creeping up behind me again. So now I'm like, okay, this is weird. He's creeping up behind me and I'm like, what is he doing? So I turn around and dip back towards the platform, towards the other end of the platform. And this time he's like speeding up behind me. And so I'm like, yo, like what is going on? One more time down to the other end. Now I'm starting to get pissed and annoyed because I'm like, what does he want at this point? I'm on the phone and I'm like, acting like he ain't there. I'm on the phone. You feel me all day long. Talk to the homie. You feel me? And the man's like, yeah, I feel you. I want to feel you. And I'm like, hell no. No, 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 no. I'm like, Lord, please not today. Not today. I'm not, no, not today. So the man is like, give me money. And I'm like, I don't have any money. Leave me alone, please. Go somewhere. I don't know you. Please leave me alone. And he's just like, give me my fucking money and start screaming at me. So I'm like, oh, hell no. And mind you, I'm like in between these two benches and he low key has me cornered. So I like luckily dip off and out of the way. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like he's cussing me out. And the homie's like, What's going on? Where are you? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, he's yelling at me. He's screaming at me. And he's like, give me my fucking money, bitch. I start dipping towards the other end. The other end is where people like tap their tap card. So tap card is how you basically pay to get on the bus. So there's a lady trying to put money on her card. And I just grab her arm like she was my mama. And I'm like crying at this point. I'm like, please, please, please don't let me go. Don't let me go. Please don't let me go. He's bothering me. I don't know what he wants, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, give me my fucking money. And all I hear is, 
the sound of a knife open up. And I'm like, oh, hell no. And he reaches out and grabs the armrest of my wheelchair. The lady that I'm holding on to, now she's screaming for dear life. She's like, ah! So I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And the homie's like, what's going on? What's going on? I'm like, he pulled out a knife. He pulled out a knife. And I, luckily, because he grabbed my my the armrest of my wheelchair, I dipped to the other end, and I had dipped so fast that he fell out. So that's how much of a grip he had on my wheelchair, that he fell out of his own because I dipped so quickly. I don't know what to do. I hang up the phone and I immediately call 911. So the platform has one dip that goes into the actual Orange Line streets. Now remember, the Orange Line is meant for two huge buses that come back and forth. So I'm in the middle of these streets, okay? And at this point, I'm praying, one, that this man doesn't follow me into these streets because I'm ready to get into the intersection and just pray to the Lord that, you know, he accepts me when I come to them pearly gates. Or I'm trying not to get hit by a damn bus. I'm in the middle of these orange line streets. I'm on the phone with the police at this time. I'm screaming, I'm crying, but I'm like, I'm in the middle of the orange line bus. I really don't want a bus to hit me. I'm on such and such and such and such. Like, they're like, ma'am, calm down. The, you know, the police are on their way, blah, 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 blah. What does he look like? And I'm describing what he looks like. And I'm like, please, please, please. Mind you, mind you, I'm in the street. And the man is still yelling at me and cursing at me from the platform. I bet your next question is, well, was there anyone around to help? Of course there was everyone around to help. There was a platform full of people. Ask who came out in the street and was just like, ma'am, relax, I got you. That man's not coming into the street. You know, people got their eye on him. So and so, some the, the lady over there is calling the police. Mm -mm. No, no. The bus that I'm trying to catch finally shows up. So when the bus comes, for whatever reason, the man snapped out of it and started going the opposite direction. But he's at the corner still staring at me. So I get in front of the bus. I'm like, I'm not going nowhere. I'm crying. I'm still on the phone with the police. And the bus driver's looking at me like, what are you doing? He comes out and he's like, ma'am, you're going to have to move. I'm like, that man down there has been harassing me. He has been cussing me out. He pulled a knife on me. I am not getting on this bus unless you can get me on and safe before he can get a clue to come on the bus with me. Because if he gets on the bus, then it's really about to be a problem. It's about to be... It's about to be bad. So the bus driver's like, okay, I got you. Come on. So I follow the bus driver. He pulls the ramp out. I get on the bus. The bus driver puts the ramp up. And the police, the 911 operator, is like, oh, the police is there. Tell the bus driver not to move. And I said, um, it, no, the bus, the bus is gone. I do not want to be here anymore. I want to go. I said, you tell the police to meet me at the H&R block at such and such and such and such. I get to H&R block. I'm crying. The people at H&R Block, po things, they was trying to help me. They were like, ma'am, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. You know what I mean? I was like, I got my W-2s. Just tell me what I need to do. And blah, blah. They were like, do you need a moment? I said, yes, actually I do. So the police show up. I go outside. They're like, okay, ma'am, tell us what happened. Broke down the whole story. First thing the police officer asks me is, well, do you know this man? No, I don't know this man. Then he says, well, he's claiming that you owe him $200. $200? This is what I tell the officer. I said, do I look like I owe him $200? I said, we're outside of H&R Block. I'm about to get my taxes done. Do I look like I owe that man $200? Well, man, we just have to ask because he's really claiming that he knows you. I don't know him. I've never seen him. So he's just like, well, ma'am, what do you want us to do about it? I said, I want him gone. I don't care what you do. Just get him away from there because I'm always over there. And so they were like, well, uh, by law, he has his constitutional rights and we can't just up and move somebody and, and tell them to move because it's a public area and he's not tre trespassing and blah, 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 blah. So now I'm annoyed. The police is like, well, you can have a citizen's arrest. I'm like, okay, what, what does that mean? Well, we can arrest them right now, 
but he'll be out by Monday. This all happened on a Sunday. And then you'll be subpoenaed to go to court and testify. I said, okay. So if I get subpoenaed, that means I have to go to court. And they were like, yes. I said, so what happens if I'm working and I can't go to court? And they said, well, if you don't go to court, then you get in trouble and you get a warrant out for your arrest. So the completely innocent party who would want some form of justice could potentially do more jail time than the actual offender. Let's just marinate on the law real quick on that one. Exactly. So they, you know, write out a police report, yada, yada, yada. Of course, I don't do a citizen's arrest because it's completely pointless. I'm the one that would risk more doing the citizen's arrest as if he's going to show up in court to defend himself anyways. Let's just establish that. But it was just a crazy experience. I had never in my life experienced anything like that. You know, I immediately just thank God that I survived it, that I came out, you know, because it's interesting because although it was completely traumatizing, I am very thankful that I'm still alive and I was able to get away, you know, untouched, unharmed. Because the thing is, is like, what I think people don't realize, or maybe the law, maybe it'll get too complicated if they cared, but is that situations like that, sure, you may not have physically harmed me, but now mentally, now I have the fear, now I'm paranoid where I'm going on the bus, now I have to be extra careful while I'm on corners and stuff, and it shouldn't even have to be that way. You know, there's crazy people all over the world. I understand that you can't avoid trouble. But in the same breath, if this is the law, if this is police officers who are supposed to protect and serve, why does it have to take me actually getting harmed in order for you to be like, okay, now it's time to do something? I think the thing that was just so amazing, like still something I can't even grasp, is just the fact that Nothing happened, really. There was no solution to this problem. Except, you know, the pure grace of the Lord. And uh, me watching my back and having to change up my routine and how I do things, uh, you know, for my safety and for my protection. But if that's what I have to do, then that's what I have to do. Everyone watch yourself. Be careful out there in these streets. If you take public transportation, if you go anywhere, just be careful. Watch your back, especially us women. We have to be very, very careful. Very, very careful. Always have something on you to protect yourself. And, uh, yeah, that's story time. Subscribe. Like my videos. Go back. Like more videos. Go back and uh, share. You know, I hope you guys have been enjoying everything sitting pretty. Because uh, sitting pretty ain't going to stop. Can't nobody attack sitting pretty. You feel me? All right. Love y'all.